Hi year two, welcome to story time. Now I know you've been learning about the life cycle of a butterfly in science over the last few weeks, so I thought we'd read a book about caterpillars. And you know caterpillars turn into beautiful butterflies. So I know you all know this book really well, but it's still a really great book to read. So The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And the author is Eric Carl. Here we go then, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Can you see it? See the face in the moon as well. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Whoops! Can you see him? Zoom in. Ooh. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still very hungry. There you go, there's the apple. You see him, there he's munched through the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. There he is, look. He's going munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still very hungry. There he is. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but what was he? Still very hungry. There's the strawberries. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. You see the holes? <clears throat> but he was still very hungry. On Saturday, he ate through, you ready? One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Let's see if I can show you all the things. Wow. Do you think he's hungry anymore? That night, he had stomach ache. <laughs> the next day was sun Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. You can see the holes where he's been munching. Where is he? There he is, look. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <laughs> he builds a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside it for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. There's the cocoon. Nice cosy little house for him. And he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh, oh that's a colourful page, look at that. <laughs> it's all the fruit that you ate through, I think everything that he ate to make himself nice and fat so he could go into his cocoon and come out as a beautiful butterfly. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. I know you know it really well, but it's still a good story to read, isn't it? So I'll see you again tomorrow for some more story time. Bye, everyone.